Can you imagine 4 hours worth of practice in just 2 hours? Think about the bus stop at Daytona. Normally you can try that once every minute and a half, which is around 37 times per hour. With the active reset feature, it can do it around 500 times per hour. This new feature in iRacing can make your practice session more productive by removing the need of resetting to the pits and doing the out lap on cold tires before doing hot laps. My name is Suelo Almeida and today I will explain how you can make the best out of the active reset tool. If you use this right, you can shave off full seconds of your lap time much more efficiently than traditional lapping. Motorsports is one of the few sports where it's very difficult to practice one isolated technique. When practicing, you have to do everything at the same time braking, turning, accelerating, and then if you make a small change in a corner, normally you have to do the entire lap to come back to that corner after a minute or two to try it again. In some tracks like Nordschleife, you have to wait full 8 minutes to practice that corner again while having to do other 200 corners and worry about them all. That makes it very difficult to focus on one single corner. For reference, in music, you can isolate one or two sections of the music piece and just repeat that part. Imagine being able to isolate one corner and do that again and again. Well, you can do that now in iRacing. And a lot of people are really ignoring the power of this tool. Can you understand the huge advantage this can bring to your precision? You may even think that this is cheating or that it's not realistic and you cannot do that in real life. But it does improve your performance and from a competitive standpoint, it has its benefits and some drivers will use it. To set it up, just go to the controls menu in iRacing and find these four hotkeys to assign, just above the black box controls. I like having the active reset run on my wheel, since that's the one we will be using all the time. The other three are set in my stream deck, but you can set them up in your keyboard if you want. Today, I will show you the two ways I use this feature when practicing. I have to admit that I haven't really used it a lot since I like practicing with other drivers and this only works in test sessions, but I'm moving more and more towards it. Anyways, let's go straight to the two best uses of this tool. 1. Doing full laps in the same tire conditions. Here, make sure you open a test session with the dynamic sky turned off. That means the time in the session is frozen and the track conditions are always the same. Here, you can just try to do the best lap of the stint. In some cars, it's the very first flying lap. In others, it could be the second or third or fourth. And right after you've finished that lap, you press the active reset button to go back to that same flying lap. This way, you can have always the same tire wear and temperature and the lap times will be a lot more accurate so you can develop more precision in your practice. Just set up the active reset before you open that good lap and you're good to go. 2. Doing a specific corner or sector. The real benefit from this feature is the fact that you can practice just one corner or sector over and over again. Just choose a comfortable starting point before the sector and you're good to go. Here you can use to choose the normal best lap delta as a reference, but the delta will only show up when you start a new sector in the track, or you can create custom sectors using the assigned hotkeys that you can set in the controls menu. This is where you can massively improve your driving. You can set up an active reset before the corners you struggle the most and practice until you understand them more. This method can make you much more confident in these difficult places and you'll definitely have a lot more fun and win more races. Of course, remember to never do blind laps. If you're repeating things, make sure you're aware of what you're trying and be open to feeling small differences like brake pressure, entry track usage, downshifting rhythm, turn in aggressiveness, and so on. If you want to know exactly what to practice and how to make the best out of your driving, make sure you check my Motor Racing Checklist online course. So far, we have 1,200 participants and the results have been insane. If you want to dig deeper on good practices for your sim racing career and technique, check out this video on my channel and subscribe for the other dozen ones that I'm working on currently. See ya!